Hey guys, we are back to lower body again. Today we are going to do the ever fun sumo squat. Okay? So this one's a little different. It's in de designed to, to focus on your inner thigh and your outer thigh. So for all of us ladies in the house, this is our fun saddlebag area. So make sure you've got your space. Come back here and take your feet out wide, like, like you're doing a jumping jack, okay? Um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna, you know, keep your hands in front of you and you're gonna sink down into a big, wide sumo stance, right? And then just squat down as low as you can go and then come up. You don't wanna come all the way up. I uh, just found that it's harder to keep your balance that way. So what you wanna do is sink down as low as you can go. You're gonna feel a stretch here. You're gonna probably feel it burning back here and then come up about three quarters of the way up. It's gonna keep the tension on your leg muscles and it keeps you kind of in a, a better stance so you don't fall over backwards, okay? So you're just gonna go down and up, down and up, 60 seconds or 120 seconds. Again, if you wanna make it harder, stay down here and pulse, okay? No rocket science here, just pulse. Come up when you need a break, shake it out a little bit if you need to, down and up. This is the sumo squat. Again, it's gonna really work the jiggly inner thighs and it's gonna really scoop in and lift up your booty. Modifications, same thing. Grab onto your table or chair, legs wide, squat, you know, hold on for balance. As far as your knee, excuse me, as far as your knee placement in this one, you know, the wider you can go, the better, because then when you get down in your squat, again, you're in that position where your knee is not, um, you know, going way out over your toes. It's just dangerous for your knees to do that. So wide squat, deep squat, stay down in a pulse to make it harder. And if you need help with balance, grab onto a table or a chair. Have fun.